as we have already discussed that your duration is shorter that is four and a half year two semester per year you have to do early start in the us mle preparation by the university indian food and hostel facility is available for the indian student so there are some fact related to our university so university has started his md program in 2023 100% graduate doctor are practicing in USA, UK, Holland, Canada, Germany, and India. First time, the passing rate in the US MLE is 94, which is very high and it's very good. Means the quality is being maintained by the university. Highest attended US MLE marks is 273 and average goes to 229. It's the only Caribbean university having the hospital in USA. So you are becoming a doctor in USA. And the practical lab are as per US standard. Affiliated with one of the largest hospital in the Kurasa. All the faculty members that are teaching in the university as are MD. So, so related our campus, the explanation will be given by our senior counselor, Priyanka ma'am. So, hello everyone. Uh, Priyanka this side, and I am the senior counselor. So, I will going to share my screen. So, this is our university campus of St. Martin's University Faculty of Medicine. And uh, this is the classroom. The, uh, in classroom, there is a group discussion that if you have any doubts after the lecture, so that is cleared by the professor. And see your screen. Take your screen up or you see the lot. Ravi, take your screen up or you see the lot. Oh. I think, ma'am, your screen is not visible. So. So, hello everyone. This is our campus of St. Martin's University, that is Faculty of Medicine. And this is the classroom where if the uh, students have any doubts after the lecture, so they can sit with the professor and clear their doubts. Right. And this is the self study classroom. Uh, this is self study classroom. So it is opened uh, 24 by 7 where the student can sit and have their uh, lectures silently. This is another classroom that is also same as in self-study and it is also open 24 by 7. Priyanka, your screen is not visible. Please share the screen. Yes, now we can see. So you can see now? Yeah, yeah, yes. You can you can start. Okay, so I'm starting and again. This is our campus of St. Martin's University, Faculty of Medicine. Right. So this is the uh, group discussion classroom where if the students have uh, any doubts after the lecture, so they can sit with the professor and then they can clear the doubts. This is a self-study classroom. It is open 24 by 7 for the students. This is another classroom of self-study. It is also open 24 by 7. And uh, this is the histology laboratory. Uh, 
this is a classroom where the professor are conducting the lectures and this is a psychology class this is the anatomy class as you can see and this is a fun time of the students and they sit with the professors after the lectures and this is a health fair uh, which is conducted by the St. Martin's University itself. This is a Hippocratic host ceremony uh, which is taken by the student after the graduation. This is the white coat ceremony as you can see. So uh, this is the uh, river view of the downtown Ponda. And there is some basic information of the Kurasa. So it is uh, like one dollar is equal to one dollar is equal to one point seventy eight gidler. That is uh, approximately one gidler is equal to forty four rupees Indian according to Indian currency. So Kurasa is out of hurricane uh, belt. And 75 degree year round, that is temperature range is approximately 24 to 27 uh, degree. And this is a tourist uh, famous attraction places like you can see Sea Aquarium, Ostrich Farm, Aloe Vera Farm and Scuba Diving. There are many more attraction places for the tourists as well as for the students in Curaçao. So this is a downtown Punda and it is a market of Curaçao. This is some grocery stores. This is another grocery store. So this is a temple is in Kurasao. And there are many religious, uh, religious worship. Like this is a mosque we can see. And this is church. So there are many more uh, worship in the Kurasao. And uh, this is the beaches. There are many beaches. That is... Uh, for, uh, very used to a tourist and the uh, students have uh, attractive point that the, the and this is the top 10 beach in the world and this is a uh, Jain Thai Plaza it is also an attractive place for the tourists and the students also so this is a Pontiac General Hospital it is in USA and it is in Michigan so where you will complete your two years co-rotational clinical rotation in USA itself this is the inside view of the Pontiac General Hospital. It is in fourth floor. It is on the fourth floor. And right side, you can see our university logo that is St. Martin's University Faculty of Medicine. This is the backyard of the Pontiac General Hospital. And these are the few students who are completing their clinical rotation in Pontiac General Hospital. So this is a residency program of our university. There are some videos of the students' experience. My name is Francesca Restea. I'm a student at St. Martinus University here in Curaçao. I chose to uh, take on an goal is to become the first generation of um, uh, that are going to be practicing uh, with a great environment. Uh, it's very easy to study here because it's absolutely <laughs> And I came specifically, um, there's some really amazing Suriname food, Dutch food. You're always So how you will start your journey as for an MD? So that uh, will be explained by Ravi sir. So thank you ma'am showing us the infrastructure and the lifestyle of the student in SMU. So this is how the journey will go for your four and a half year duration. At the very early stage, you will start your basic science 
and that too in the university for two and a half year. After completing your basic science, you will give the NBME examination, that is National Board of Medical Examination. And the university, after that examination, the university will help you to get a visa in US. In US, you will give your USMLE step one examination. After that, you will start your two year clinical rotation in USA, in Point General Hospital. During your clinical co rotation, you will give your USMLE step two. And after completion of all this clin clinical rotation, you will apply for the residency, which is totally free of cost. You don't have to pay any amount for your residency, that is for PG. And during, the, during your PG, you will get a stipend of minimum $50,000 per year. And after completion of your residency, you will give your USMLE step three and you will get a license as a physician and you can practice in USA, UK, Canada or anywhere in the world. So this is how the journey will go on for your complete four and a half year duration. So this is a video regarding the university. Two year of medical science program include two year of basic science course at Curaçao and our students go for compulsory two-year clinical rotation. Most of our students stay at the campus where they have a nice this is our campus. environment to study together. Students also have an option to stay close to the campus where they have a safe environment and with no problems with transportation. Hi there, uh, my name is Dr. Harold Schultz. I am the Dean here at St. Martinez University. So these are the image of the student and uh, this is how the visa look like. The very first one is a visa where the student will get in India by the Netherlands embassy. And the second one is the visa which he will get in the Curaçao by the US embassy. As you can see, the name is mentioned over here, Pointac General Hospital, and he will go in USA for his clinical rotation. So this is how it looks like. These are our some graduate student. So this is a success story. Ownership, administration, faculty, parents, and most importantly, graduates. On behalf of St. Martinez University, we'd like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2020-2021. In 2022. My name is Dr. Kraut. I'm the Associate Dean of Clinical Sciences for St. Martinez University. We'd like to thank all of those who helped with the planning and execution of this, of this ceremony. We'd also like to recognize all those who are attending virtually as well. Today is not a momentous journey. efforts has finally paid off and it's my privilege to say that you have finally earned the prestigious the prestigious title of being called a physician congratulations so congratulations to the families and to everybody i wish you all the very best Graduation ceremony. I am. This video show the diversity of our SMU. university that the student from different part of countries are studying in the university, as you can see in the video. Non SMU. Mehu SMU. Ita SMU. Ikben SMU. Yo soy SMU. Me SMU, huh? Me SMU, huh? Me, I SMU. Me, I SMU. Me, I SMU, huh? 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 Me, I SMU, huh?
నేను this is a point at general hospital this is how it looks and uh, here the student will complete his clinical rotation this are the six core rotation which is uh, internal medicine surgery family medicine pediatric ob gyn and psychiatry this are the clinical core rotation which he will complete during this two year duration so after completing his ug let's talk about the pg residency program so this is the data as uh, in 2023 the overall seat in us hospital is 38000 among that 38000 16000 has been reserved for us medical school and remaining 22000 is for foreign medical student so means chances are really high chances are very good to pursue your residency at as you can see from the data itself the seats are available that is 22000 for the foreign medical student so coming to the fee structure so how be the fees distribution or what will be the overall cost or fees for your complete four and a half year duration so so the total fees would be $62,050. So this is the fees duration, how you will pay the fees. In the very first year, the parent has to pay $16,350, which nearly comes to 14 lakh rupees in India. And remaining fees he has to pay by semester wise that are equally distributed 6,500 per semester. That is in semester MD2 md3 and md4 after this two and a half year when he will complete his basic science he will move for his clinical rotation in usa for the first year he has to pay thirteen thousand one hundred dollar and same for the next year that is thirteen thousand one hundred so all this overall comes to sixty two thousand and fifty dollar which is nearly 50 lakh indian rupees so this is how our fees has been distributed so talking about the living expense, it is $6,000 approx per year, which include three time meal a day, electricity, water, and internet. All these facilities are being included. So this would be the fee structure. These are the costing for the complete UG program. So coming to the, coming to the next slide regarding the safety concern, it could be explained by our counselor. Priyanka, ma'am. So, regarding the safety concern of the Karasa. So, Karasa is the safest place for the tourists as well as for the students because uh, there is no history of terrorism in Karasa as well and the social stability is also maintained. So this is safest place for the students to study. There's no any risk. And these are the some students that has graduated this year. You can see with the professor also. These are the students. These are the Indian students actually. So this is the oath ceremony that is taken by the students after completing their graduation in St. Martin's University. The health and well-being of my patient will be my first consideration. The health and well-being of my patient will be my first consideration. I will respect the autonomy and dignity of my patient. I will respect the autonomy and dignity of my patient. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. I will not permit considerations of age. I will not permit considerations of age. Disease or disability. Disease or disability. Creed. Creed. Ethnic. Ethnic. Origin. Origin. Gender. Gender. Nationality. Nationality. Political affiliation. Political affiliation. Race. Race. Sexual orientation. Sexual orientation. Social standing. Social standing or any other factor that will intervene between my duty and my patient. 
So this is the standard taken by the student after their graduation completed. So the this slide is if, if the students or the parents who are willing to visit our university or the hospital, they are most welcome. So we will arrange their visa also. So you can interact with the current medical students who are studying in USA and doing the co-rotation as well in USA and Corasa. And you can uh, connect with the professor also if you have any doubts. So if uh, parents are, or the students are willing to uh, go for the this program so we will help you to how to prepare an application for the admission at on the saint martin's university right so this is the website of the saint martin's university education since i started it's this been a one video. amazing experience this is the some video of the students experience have our own reasons for choosing this difficult yet most rewarding profession. A profession where one gets paid in terms of gratitude for helping others live a better and healthy life. Coming from a non-medical background, it was very important for me and my parents to make a wise decision in terms of choosing the right medical school. And I decided to join in St. Martinus University because I wanted to pursue my career in the United States. When you're in med school, it's very important for you to be able to give your exams on time and study efficiently. And thanks to all our professors who helped us through and constantly motivated us and encouraged us. The amount of exposure that I've received here uh, during my clinical clerkship and the interaction that I had with the patient is commendable. Our attendings are highly professional and they always encourage us to ask questions and participate in group discussions. With the amount of exposure that I've received here, I'm confident to do much better in the future. So you can see this is the experience of the students who are studying in St. Martin's University. So thank you everyone. If you have any doubts or questions, so you can go further. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Ravi Kumar and thank you, Priyanka. Uh, yeah. Uh, so all the participant now session is open for the discussion. You can ask straight question to the student. Those are studying in uh, Grasau campus. Those are uh, completing their clinical rotation in United States of America. And our administrative dean, uh, Dr. Ravi Binta is there. Dr. Gopi is there. So some faculty members are also there. So if you are having any question, you can just unmute yourself and you can ask the question. Anybody is having any question? Okay. So meanwhile, I invite um, Dr. Ravi Vinta and he will tell something about the program and how is the teaching and learning and examination method. Uh, Dr. Vinta, you're welcome, please. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, yeah. sir. Thank you, the happy. Uh, I am Dr. Ravi Vinta, the Dean of uh, Basic Sciences, stationed in the Corasau campus. So our program is a four and a half year program as uh, the representatives of uh, uh, Dr. Dahat already explained. Okay. So it is a four and a half years program, uh, two and a half years in uh, Basic Sciences campus that is in Corasau. And after that, uh, the remaining two years, that is 74 weeks of clinical rotations in uh, Michigan, that is uh, Pontiac General Hospital. So in the basic sciences, uh, you will welcome the student from the first day onwards into the SMU community. And from that day onwards, uh, we will guide the students towards uh, the goal, especially in the basic sciences, the main goal is to clear ESMLE step one. Okay. So towards that goal, we will prepare the student. Right? We will guide the student. 
will be entirely different from your uh, high school education or uh, plus two education the medical this program is entirely different right here uh, the student must uh, improve more of uh, analytical uh, skills okay so someone may ask uh, like what is the difference between uh, say education in uh, uh, india and uh, what is the difference between curriculum in india and the curriculum in us because we follow the us based uh, curriculum right so the main difference is uh, the student who is uh, coming with the goal of uh, settling in us joining residency program in us okay. it is different from indian curriculum of course the concepts and subject is same but the way how you approach will be different that approach we will train okay because uh, if you see in india most of the exams the final exams are descriptive but uh, in us curriculum it is more of a single based answer questions with uh, more uh, clinical analytical skills okay? we have to use your analytical skills that you will not develop in a single day okay. so from the first day onwards we train the student in such a way that they will use the knowledge to analyze the clinical scenario clinical case okay. and all that so that it will help them to clear psmle step 1 because that is the requirement for uh, being promoted to the clinical rotation okay. in usa you must pass usml step 1 then only you will be promoted to the clinical rotation because when you enter into the us you have to compete with the us students right so in the us medical schools they will take usml step 1 and pass before going to clinical rotation so once you go there you can compete with them otherwise uh, if you are not able to clear your semester step 1 you will be left behind in the clinical rotation so that is it. so when it comes to our uh, teaching methods or learning methods and we call learning methods okay so as uh, because uh, we have a small uh, class size and also we allot mentors to every student right so they will take a special care they will follow up every day the progress of the student if the student is not able to progress properly then they will have individual meetings document the progress again after 3 4 weeks they will have one more meeting see if there is any improvement and give them feedback so all this is a continuous uh, process which occurs in our uh, campus okay? because of the small class size it is possible for us it is a mentorship program at the same time the students are actively participating in their own learning it is not just a spoon feeding or passive learning it is uh, active learning okay? so every day the student uh, will have problem based learning sessions okay. so they will be given a problem like a clinical problem like how a patient the way we will make them think like that this patient is sitting in front of you then uh, they have to analyze what is happening in this particular case okay so with their uh, learned knowledge or with the learning gaps they detect they will synthesize the information and they will research the information and present the information okay. so all this uh, is uh, happening every day in our campus right so that is our uh, learning uh, methods so basically that is the program right so the students who follow all this will succeed we have students here our own uh, students alumni who are helping us to train our students again like we as a professors they came back as lecturers helping our students with their experience 
right we have dr gopi then uh, we have uh, dr sriram taking care of uh, clinical rotations in uh, us okay. so this is a ongoing process we will get feedback from the students we try to improve what we are doing with feedback from the students we will get feedback from the faculty right? so that is uh, what basically we do if you have any specific questions please uh, let me know thank you dr binta thank you very much for your uh, input uh, i invite uh, dr sriram he is taking care of the clinical rotations in pontiac general hospital <clears throat> dr sriram uh, people uh, would like to know about uh, how is the living arrangement uh, and food arrangement in uh, usa and uh, how is the clinical rotations happens over there all the clinical rotations will happen in michigan or student need to travel uh, from one place to other place so please explain this thank you mr dahat hello everyone thanks for joining us today and in usa our clinical rotations we have uh, 76 weeks and uh, most students reside uh, around pontiac general hospital which is a safe area and the uh, from here and from here students travel to different rotations and most of our rotations are very near everybody please uh, mute your mic please mute your mic yes sir please continue yes um, we start with uh, internal medicine and uh, surgery which are core rotations which are 12 weeks each and this happens in white lake medicine say clinic where we take uh, students to do the rotations and uh, we have pediatrics we have obigyn with dr khalifa and uh, dr ramos which are very experienced they have uh, they have been in this field more than 30 years and after that we have family medicine and psychiatry psychiatry we have the best in michigan especially we have residency programs here we have a lot of patients students will get a lot of experience from that and we have uh, after their core rotations they have for each core rotation they have to take an exam so it's called a shelf exam and after that they'll start their clean elective rotations we have in uh, different disciplines such as uh, radiology nephrology um gastroenterology cardiology and vascular surgery and even plastic surgery we have uh, and etc we have different clinical rotations for electives as well and students they have to live on their own outside the uh, near pontiac general hospital and uh, they have to maintain the maintain themselves here we don't provide hostel facilities but we we show them housing because most of their seniors who are going to join will guide through their seniors and uh, it's easy for them to find accommodation here it's not very difficult and it's not too expensive when they're sharing room with their friends or their seniors and we give usmle step 2 coaching here we give guidance and we prepare them for usmle step 2 because they are coming to usa after the usmle step 1 all that is left for them is to take usmle step 2 we guide through them when every step and uh, teach them the ways how to learn how to gain knowledge and how to apply it so it, so that it will be easy for them to continue after their graduation here they can continue residency very easily how to proceed with the residency and uh, how to apply for it everything yeah That thank is. you dr siram as uh, dr siram i think there is a provision uh, in the campus itself um, it's like pontiac general hospital where a few students are staying mm -hmm. yes yes yeah. pontiac general hospital has their own apartments and uh, mo like some of our students live there it is uh, right next to it but uh, also there are other students who live around that area uh, and uh, it's easy for them to live there in pontiac general hospitals but uh, it's a stu student's choice where they want to live 
All right. Thank you very much. Thanks for your input. It is really useful for everybody. Uh, now I invite uh, Chinmay Savan, who is a student uh, and studying in uh, Curaçao campus, St. Martinus University. Uh, Chinmay, can you please explain about the life, student life in Curaçao and St. Martinus University? Please go ahead. Okay, hello. thank you, Mr. Rafael. Good evening, everyone. So I'm currently staying in, uh, in Curaçao in St. Martinus. So the life thing is good so that we mostly have our lectures in the morning. So then we have from afternoon to evening. So then you can, you know, uh, go to the study room and do self study. That's what I like to personally because like the professors, you know, uh, like they teach you really good, no doubt about that. But the main thing I have to focus on is to solve some questions. First of all, like we have clean the gates so that you get focus. Can you guys hear me now properly? Yeah, yes, please continue. Okay. So yeah, as I was mentioning, we have most of our lectures are in the morning. Are still having issues. Mm. Can you properly, guys? I think there is some disturbance. Uh, you can just check your mic and uh, I will come back to you. Meanwhile, I okay. ask uh, Dr. Gopi. Uh, recently, Dr. Gopi uh, has given his uh, step two and he cleared the step two. He is uh, in the matching program. Uh, so Dr. Gopi uh, will tell you about the difficulty level of the USMLE step one, step two, and how to get a residency. He's having very good knowledge because he's a very fresher, like uh, recently he passed out uh, USMLE step two. Dr. Gopi, please uh, tell us how was your experience uh, to prepare for the step one and step two? Uh, thank you, Mr. Dahat. Uh, I am Dr. Gopi Malaka. I am the recent graduate from the St. Martinus University. And currently I am teaching physiology uh, at St. Martinus University. I cleared the step two last year. And whatever, when I was studying St. Martinus University, there was no like uh, supporting guidance, what to study, where to study. And it was very difficult uh, at that time, but Right now, Dr. Junjipali sir, who has they complete the step one and step two, they are uh, bringing back to the university and guiding the new new generation students what they want to study because they're precise because the step one and step two is like clinical. They they focus where need to, you need to focus. So we're gonna guide like we have the ambos and the boards and beyonds. And we have the subjects uh, because some students, they like the videos uh, to watch and some students, they like more books to read it. And we have the access medicine and they improving the lot of resources. And those, those like me, those who we completed the step one and step two, I used to guide like if they are going other way of, out of the track, I want to help them to guide and what are the doubts they are having in the campus. I will I will be there most of the time and I am trying to give the guidance for the step one preparation. And right now they are improving a lot regarding the ICM. They are bringing a lot of equipment since when I study and coming right now, they are improving a lot of uh, ICM practice-based learning. And step two is like uh, when you do the rotations in the Pontic General Hospital, uh, when you're rotating with the doctors, Dr. Khalifa, uh, Dr. Mohammad Saad, they used to tell like how to approach the case studies and then you'll get more experience when you're doing the clinical rotations that makes you more comfortable, uh, able to appear for step two exam. And it's a very long journey and it's very good experience so far. And what are the students they are upcoming? What are they feeling the difficulty regarding the MBME completion? Uh, we are we are old graduates who else we completed. We are there to help them to get it down, get it past the MBME exam. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I can be there to help you. Yes, thank you, Dr. Gopi. Anybody is having any question, please?
if you're having any question, you can ask, you can write. Uh, language is no problem. Even you can ask in Hindi, you can ask in Marathi, no problem. Uh, meanwhile, I will go to the Chinmay. Chinmay, please, uh, I, I hope uh, your mic is working fine, isn't it? Okay, uh, can you guys hear me now? Yes, yes. good. Please continue, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, so the life on the island is like pretty good. We have our lectures in the morning, then we like to do some self-study in the study rooms. Like uh, as Dr. Gopi and like Dr. Vintha, they give you, they recommend you certain resources which you can follow. So also some like question forming, uh, solving platforms which you can use so that you get used to, you know, the medical clinical styles questions, which is really gonna be helpful. And other things like also the food and all is really good here. Uh, yeah, you get like around three meals a day. So that's no issue at all. The housing facilities are also pretty good on the island. And yeah, the island itself is like really beautiful. Like you can, for example, on the weekends, you can uh, take some chill or time and go to the beaches if you want. Like, for example, today, this morning only I went for a swim at the beach. It was really nice. The beaches are nice, clean. Overall, the island life is pretty good, but yeah, you try not to get distracted by that. Your main focus is to study here. That's what I'm trying to do uh, here. Like, personally, I like to do self-study a lot. And yeah, if you guys have any questions like uh, regarding about the, uh, about the campus, about how the students live here, you can feel free to ask. Yes, I think uh, we cover everything uh, like the program, the fees, uh, the expenses, the preparation of USMLE. Uh, even Dr. Pinta told you about how is the teaching learning method, evaluation method. Uh, Dr. Sriram explained you about the clinical rotations. Uh, Chinma explained you about the lifestyle student life in the Krasau and St. Martinus University. Uh, Dr. Gopi explained you about the preparation for USMLE step one and step two. Uh, yes, now if you are having any other question, you can ask us. Hi, good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. My name is Kasimuddin, my daughter. We, are, we have approached to the St. Martinez University for making a plan to be get admissions. So my question is uh, regarding for the female student, um, uh, what are the code of conduct inside the accommodations and universities are followed? What code of conduct universities is following for the female student, either all students? All right. Uh, I think Dr. Binta is the right person. He will explain you. Yeah. Uh... For female students, uh, they if you opt for accommodation, yeah. Okay? If you opt for accommodation, the accommodation is uh, close by to the campus, right? The university is uh, having uh, apartmental complexes; they are renting. These are inside, either outside, sir. It is so close to the campus, not inside the campus. Okay. okay. Is but there any arrangement very... inside the campus for accommodation? In... Inside the campus, there is no accommodation okay. right now. Okay. Right? Yeah. This so these accommodation the are campus. independent. Independent. Either these 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 can be taken care by universities. It is taken care by the university. Right? Okay. So it is a secured uh, complex, apartment okay. complex. Okay. Okay. Which we have. Uh, a remote gate, okay. Everything where and also camera system. Okay. okay. Yeah, and it is safe environment. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what policies are maintaining to take care of students? I'm sorry to say. Policies. Yeah. What is there any we, arrangement we, for like? Uh, caretaker, either the monitoring policies. I'm just talking about this. We actually advise not to go out uh, after nine o'clock. Okay. Okay. And uh, we have a caretaker here who yeah. takes care of their uh, issues. 
especially okay. uh, one uh, lady from uh, local community and also one uh, representative from India. She is uh, Naina Khaitan. She is okay. in India right now. She is coming okay. back in, uh, she is on vacation. Okay. She is coming back in August. Okay. okay. So they take care of uh, most of the uh, girls' campus issues. Okay. Yeah. So like uh, if they have any specific problems, like yeah. uh, inside the inside the apartment or outside okay. the apartment. Okay. Right. And if there are any any discrepancies, if we observe immediately, we inform the, the parents. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. And um, sir, uh, I want to ask one thing: if we want to uh, take separate accommodation, like not the sharing basis, so like who could explain the um, whole procedure for it? Okay. Yeah, you can opt for uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, sir, you please. can opt for you can opt for uh, individual accommodation also. Right, mm -hmm. there are uh, apartments just behind the campus, which are connected to the campus, like with just One with the steps. Hello. Okay. You can opt for uh, individual accommodation, but uh, it will uh, they will charge more. I'm not uh, sure about uh, the charges, right? But they will charge more for it. Okay. Shared accommodations. What they are throwing like six hundred, six six thousand per year. That is shared accommodation. Okay. So if you opt for individual accommodation, it will be more. Uh, it may go to eight thousand, maybe nine thousand. So in that range. So if you are ready to afford that, because see, sharing accommodation, what we why we arrange just to minimize the cost of living for the student. If you are not uh, compatible to share room with the students, then better you can go for the uh, like individual accommodation. But yes, you have to pay extra amount for that. Any that, that will be helped uh, uh, by the St. Martinez? Yes, sir, 100%, 100%, sir. We'll do that. Okay. So just you, you have to just uh, request us like we required uh, uh, individual okay. accommodation and we'll, we'll get it done. Okay. Okay. And when the intake is going to be start, sir, is there any um, proceeding? Of October. We'll, we are going to start the course in 16, on 16th of October this okay. year. Okay. And uh, there is a lengthy process of getting a landing permit. It may take about uh, eight weeks. Okay. Landing permit and the Netherlands visa about 15 days, two weeks. Okay. So you need to start process uh, right now is the right time to start the process. So almost two and a half to three months uh, required to get your visa and uh, travel to the Curacao. Okay. And if parents wants to go, is that Curacao is required tourist visa? I don't know. Uh, visa is required for the parents, either the guardian to reach to yes, visit. To require, yeah, you require visa. If you are having US visa, you can travel without uh, taking any visa, all right? If you are having a uh, Schengen visa, you can travel to Curaçao, all right? <laughs> and if uh, you don't have any visa, US visa or Schengen visa, in that case, you have to apply for the tourist visa in Netherlands Embassy, India, and okay. uh, you can get it and you can travel. Okay. So Curacao, I'm, I as uh, Curacao, I mean, require uh, coming from the Schengen part. It's European part. Uh, no, sir. Actually, there is an exemption if you are having Schengen visa because Netherlands it is Dutch island, all right. Yeah. So Netherlands is again European country. So if you are having Schengen visa, there is exemption. You can go as a tourist in uh, Curacao and you can stay for thirty days. Okay. If if you are having US visa, you can go and you can stay for thirty days. All right. But if you don't have any of these visas, then you have to process your separate visa to the Netherlands embassy, that is tourist visa, and you can go and you can stay there for 30 days. Okay. Okay. So there is no option for, I, I mean, for a, uh, free visa, I mean, for Indian national, uh, for Curaçao, no? No, sir, no, sir. You required visa to enter into Curaçao. Okay, okay. Right? 
Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, any other question, please? Uh, yes, sir, I have a question. Yes, please. Uh, sir, is there any bond in that college? It means after MBBS, uh, if uh, you have to means practice uh, in that college, okay, is there any bond means it's compulsory to do PG in that college or uh, practice uh, in that uh, in the USA? No, there is no such bond. All right, you are free to travel to India anytime, even after completion of your UG program or after completion of your PG program. But let me know, like uh, PG is free, so master's residency is free, and this is the program which will help you to become a doctor in United States of America. And to become doctor in United States of America, you need to clear your step one, step two clinical rotation in USA. And then only you can become a doctor, physician, registered physician in US. And once you become doctor in USA, you can practice in any part of the world, all right? Okay, so sir. that is the best part of this program. If you complete your UG and come back, then it will be difficult for you getting admission for PG. Okay, because there are limited seats everywhere. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, sir, PG ka course kitna hai? PG Ms. ka course, madam, kam se kam teen saal ka hota hai. Family medicine, internal medicine, ye teen saal ke hote hai. Psychiatry, char saal ka hota hai. So depend on what you want to take a specialization, alright? Whatever specialization you will choose, uh, it depends, the length of the program depends on it. But when you do PG, you get a stipend. Your stipend starts and you don't have to pay for the fees for PG. So it's free. Alright? Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, please. Uh, sir, what about the NEET exam, qualified or... Uh, yes, yes very, sir. very good question. Actually, see, NEET is uh, required to become a doctor in India, right? Yeah. yeah that's... So, NEET is the eligibility certificate. Okay. Yes. If you are having okay. eligibility certificate, then you can yes. go to any other country, you can complete your UG program, and then whenever you come back, you have to yeah. see that uh, NEET result that you was eligible, you have the hmm. eligibility certificate and then you are allowed to write FMG or next examination. All right. Okay. And uh, what about not eligible uh, need exam? Then Let after me Let me complete. All right. Yeah. In, yeah. in our program, in our program, students are going and they are completing their PG, master's degree okay. in USA. Okay. Okay. So once yeah, okay. you complete your master's degree, once you become okay. registered physician in United States of America, Nobody yeah. will ask you to write next examination. All right. So mm -hmm. nobody okay. will ask you whether you have need you are need qualified or not. There yeah. are okay. many students uh, like from the IB uh, school, IB board. They are not writing uh, this need examination. They are going to the United States. They are becoming doctor. And if they wish yes. to come back, they can come and they can practice in India. All right. Yeah, okay, sir. But uh, six year after PG, uh, what 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 about means clear yeah. MBA and six and year after four and a half years you can complete your program. Yeah. All right. And then minimum three years you have to complete your residency. During yes. this period, you have to clear step one, step two, and step three. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. Thank you, sir. Right. Sir, suppose uh, sorry to again if any student suppose unable to clear the email uh, your family any any reasons then what about uh, their career yeah very good question sir uh, yeah. so we have a backup plan yeah student but uh, before that i will tell you yeah uh, like in the presentation we told 94% students yes, fully complete us mle Yes, Even sir. if you go to the Google and if you type the USMLE result, you cannot find it is less than 87%. All right. Sir, it yes, is sir. always about 87%. Why? Because the resources are available. The study structure is same from the first semester. You have to uh, score 70% marks to get promoted to the next uh, semester. All right. So okay. let's say you are well prepared for the USMLE. All right, not only this, but student before taking the USMLE, 
has to complete two self assessment in the self assessment student has to uh, has to score 80% and after that student has to give nbme which you can say the preliminary examination for the usmle and if student clear uh, nbme then and only then university allows student to write usmle because we make 100% sure that student will crack usmle in first attempt okay all right so this is one part Second part, unfortunately, unfortunately, one percent. If student fail to clear it, we do have another program that is called physician assistant program. All right, for that, USMLE is not required after completion of the basic sciences. Student can go to United States and they can complete their clinical rotation, not for the physician but for the assistant physician, okay. and then they has to crack. They have to crack pains examination. which is required to get registration as a assistant physician and they can practice in usa as assistant physician in the future whenever they think yes i would like to go for the usmle they can and they can become physician again thank you so much sir thank you so much i think now how to proceed just uh, explain how to proceed and how to approach yes sir sir uh, you have to provide the documents like your passport uh, student passport uh, then uh, birth certificate which required latest issue birth certificate then uh, mark sheet 10th standard 12th standard uh, then two recommendation letter from the teachers who taught the student and personal statement that means their statement of purpose and then sign fee structure all right that you have to share to the person uh, in touch with you and then we can proceed further okay for the application there is application fee of 75 dollar okay that you have to pay at the time of application then uh, our professor uh, will conduct the interview interview means they will discuss and they will judge like how keen is the student to become physician and after that will issue the offer letter once you get offer letter you have to make payment of the first year tuition fee and then we can start a landing permit procedure okay so uh, how long it will take to complete the process to uh, I, sir sir one 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 input here so it's not that ki we need clearance on tuition fees we need clearance for accommodation we need clearance for uh, immigration insurance once we get these three clearance then only the landing permit process gets triggered otherwise what happens let's say for example if you have this in mind that you have to make the only tuition fee payment then what happens the other process get delayed so okay. it is always recommended ki the entire process tuition fees accommodation your insurance your immigration fees are supposed to be paid at the same time once you make the payment so then the landing permit process becomes easier then it is 2 to 2 and a half months 3 months maximum time to get the landing permit once we get the landing permit it takes another 40 45 days maximum let's say for example if it is bangalore it's taking around 30 days If it is Mumbai, it is taking around twenty days, twenty-five days, and one can look forward to fly. Sorry. Yes, sir. Hello, please. sir. Yes, yes, please. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Yes, please continue. Yeah, sir. So how much uh, first year fee, sir? It is approximately sixteen thousand three hundred and fifty US dollar. This is oh. tuition fee only. Right. Yeah, this is only okay. tuition fee. Yes. And no, just I am asking all over. Uh, it is service charge, anything like that? No, there is no any service charge. Okay, and uh, this is hostel fees. Uh, that's and all excluding. Uh, okay. yes, yes. I will explain you entire fee structure. Like, see, sixty thousand, sixty-two thousand fifty is the tuition fee for entire program. Including okay. Kurasao studies and US studies. All right. Okay. So that okay. you have. Okay. All six years are four four and half years. Four and half years. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So secondly, what what are other expenses? Like I told you, the application fee seventy five dollar you have to pay. All right. Secondly, yes, there is a postal. Whenever we go for the landing permit, we have to postal the documents. a postal okay. document which all documents so latest issue birth certificate and your okay. police clearance certificate pcc which you will okay. get from the passport office all right okay. for that you have to pay uh, i think uh, in the fee structure it is mentioned about 150 dollars something all right okay. so okay. that if, if you are doing your uh, your own that's fine 
Otherwise, no, we will complete that process yeah. for you. All right? You you can okay. pay to us and we can get it done. Third okay, thing okay. is flight, flight ticket. You have to get it done. All right? Then whenever you are going to the Netherlands embassy for the visa, that time you have to pay in cash 11,000 to the embassy. Okay. All right? 11,000 Indian rupees to the embassy. You have to pay there. Okay? Okay. Okay. Then whenever you are traveling from here, you have to buy the insurance for the travel. Okay. Mm. Because whenever you are going for the Netherlands visa, you need to have the travel insurance of 30,000 euro, which is equivalent to the $50,000. All okay. right. So for that, I think 5,000 or 6,000 something you have to pay to the insurance company and you will get that insurance. Okay. Okay. Whenever, okay. whenever you are going to the Grasau, that time you have to buy the separate insurance, which will cost you 600 and uh, 6,000, sorry, 640 uh, US dollar. And you will get for entire year coverage, health insurance. Okay. 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 So this and all first year, first year only, no, sir, this and all. Uh, Ma'am, this uh, insurance and immigration fee, every okay. year you have to renew. Okay, who will do this and all, sir, from your university, end or? University, university. University, no, but, administrative uh, office will complete all the process. Only you have to pay this piece to the university or maybe you can pay directly to the immigration. Okay, no, who will uh, help out this thing, sir? Visa process and all, you will do that? We, we will do that, yes. We'll take, uh, miss like all the precautions, like say, getting your admission, collecting the required documents, a postal of the documents, then okay. your uh, Netherlands visa, uh, your, okay. um, what we can say, landing permit, your traveling, all right? Your pick and, up, pick up, everything will take care. Sorry to interrupt. Okay. Ma and, uh, yeah, yeah, and yes, one more thing, sir. And yes, uh, a bank account opening, that and all, who will do there, sir? Student bank account opening. Uh, South Indian law, the language of South Indian law. Yeah. Bank account. Tell me the matter. Bank account opening, actually, I don't think the bank account is required in Curaçao because okay. student can take a travel card and uh, that is more than enough to spend money over there. You can upload the card from India and they can spend over there. Okay. Anybody going with students, sir, with group in from your yeah, There side? is a group always. There is a group always. All right. So student can travel in group, maybe group of five, group of ten. All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome. So, sir, anybody is having any question of the regarding fees or something? Sir, lump sum, what are the uh, uh, lump sum expenditure? As you told, there is one 6,000 USD insurance. What is that, sir? 640, sir. 640. Okay. Okay, that is Corosa insurance. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. Okay. It is mentioned in the fee structure. Okay. Okay. Nothing sir. is hidden. It, it is mentioned in the fee structure. Okay. So how soon the person can contact our approach for, I mean, to be, where to be approached, sir? There, to contact you to for the further process? Yeah, yeah. I, you think, can. I think on this, uh, uh, Sibudinji, I think Zeneb is there in touch with you guys. I think she is there in touch yeah, with you. Yeah, okay. okay. So you can you know, another... Contact person, you can uh, get in touch and then they will... One, one more question, sir. I approached to for LOR, letter of recommendation to my uh, daughter's college, uh, that is the Prodar College, okay, mm -hmm. where she pursues. So we have just completed the formalities. So as they have uh, some policies in college, so they are saying these are the confidential documents. So once all will be ready, then we will directly email to the universities no problem okay. no problem is, it, is there any one college is giving but they are having a policy they can uh, they are able to hand over the lor to the student particular we, we can provide the college uh, email address ask them to send yeah. on that yeah no okay problem. okay sir okay okay thank you and i do hope we will keep in touch for the further process yeah. and okay. uh, we like to be hand over my child to <laughs> so don't worry, we, what we will do na? We, will, we will individually also try to catch up before you okay, uh, sir, you, okay. You proceed further so is there any any support suppose for the 
parent visa issuance for Netherlands? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Don't That's worry, sir. Don't worry. Whenever you need any help, okay. Yes, just uh, okay. We are just a call away. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we do hope we'll receive a call from your end. Either we need to be approached. No, no, I I will ask Zenab to carry in touch with you. Okay, sir. Okay. She she would she would coordinate further. Okay, sir. Anyway, Swami has my direct number, so she can reach okay, me okay, and sir. I can okay. definitely help her out. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Thanks Bye. a lot. I thank think you. these are the very important meetings. So if you get any further queries, so we both are reachable. So Kamlin sir will be always there and I'll be always there. Okay, you sir. You can reach us out. I will share the credentials. Okay, sir. Okay. Rest, I'll, I'll, I'll help you out with the Thank you so much, sir. Thank you Thank so you. much. Okay, bye-bye. Anybody is having any question? Yes, sir. Uh, I have regarding the college. Uh, sir, is the Department of Histology and Anatomy? I'm not talking about the single class. I'm talking about the department. Means, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Dr. Binta will explain you. Yeah, we have a department of anatomy, right? Uh, so what, uh, what specific question you have, please? Uh, sir, I don't mean that means a single classroom of histology and anatomy that we are going and just studying there in a single class. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and uh, also sir, there is a cadaver practice uh, is available in this college. Cadaver practice, uh, we were having uh, uh, like pre-COVID. Okay. Okay. Pre-COVID, we used to bring cadavers uh, from uh, US because uh, in Kurosawa, you are not allowed to donate or uh, you are not allowed to do any kind of uh, uh, local cadaveric dissection. Right. So that's why we used to order cadavers uh, from US in the University of Michigan. Right, so it that was a pre-COVID. So during the COVID time, everything was stopped. So now we are uh, again uh, regaining that uh, uh, procedure. Okay? We are following the public health procedures to bring the cadavers. At the same time, we have the virtual cadaveric uh, table, right, which we are using at present, okay? an automated table which students will uh, have the clinical scenarios and also the CT scan, MRI, histology pictures, right? pathological histology pictures, all those on the table. And also we have the anatomy models lab okay? where you can, uh, where, where we are having a lot of models, like anatomy models, all that. So department means uh, I don't understand uh, what what exactly what you mean by department. Like any specific things you wanted us to. Show yes, sir. Anything? Sir, I mean that uh, what I would see many colleges there are another specific uh, building for anatomy and uh, histology where we can practice only anatomy and uh, histology there? We have anatomy lab, right? Okay, sir. So you know that uh, as I told uh, in the beginning of the meeting, uh, while, I, while, I, while I was explaining the learning methods, okay? So the curriculum uh, is different from India and uh, US, okay? This US based uh, curriculum, uh, you will learn more of uh, clinical application. If you see in uh, India also the curriculum, they recently changed it to problem based learning curriculum. Okay. So the world is moving towards problem based curriculum. Okay. Because when we were uh, studying MBBS, uh, we used to have anatomy two years. Okay. So now in India, it's only eight months. Okay. So it is more of a early clinical exposure we need. You learn what is necessary for a physician. So after that, if you choose our anatomy research, then you can go to anatomy research. If you choose a research in histology, you go for the histology research. But when it comes to the undergraduate medical education, okay, it is transforming towards more uh, 
clinical application skills right so the student will spend only about 20 weeks in anatomy and histology here they won't spend uh, like uh, two years or anything like that okay one more question sir uh, what are the mode of payment uh, transfer whether the uh, directly to the universities either through any routed through what are the mode of transfer payment fee directly you can pay to the university sir you can go to your bank and will provide you with the university account details okay so you can transfer there uh, in the us dollar to the university okay Okay. Is there any uh, transfer can be done from personal account? Either current account is also accepted? Yeah, it is acceptable. Okay. If it is current account, you have to provide a lot of documents of your uh, company. If okay. it is personal, uh, it's more document. on the bank side, sir. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, bank see, side, the bank will my, as I'm telling, suppose if I'm having overseas account, as a current account, is it possible to transfer the? Yeah, 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 yeah. From overseas, there that is. I'm, no I'm, I'm just talking. Yeah. So then you can. So that can be done. In fact, if you have, uh, let's say, overseas account, and you I'm have having card. USD account. Suppose I'm, I'm holding the USD account in UAE. Okay, so since it's a current account, so it will it be transferred to the directly to the university yeah, you can you can definitely do that it will be very easy sir no other charges in one okay in. this is why i am having such yes, more sir. yes sir okay thank you thank you sir thank you anybody is having any... one one question from the student uh, they are asking about the different scholarships which are available okay yeah, we do have the course scholarships. Uh, actually, we are going to conduct the scholarship test on 30th of August for this intake. And uh, up to $13,000 scholarship uh, student can avail. It depends on the score, how much is score. All right. And secondly, whenever student progress, like if his uh, GPA is like 2.5 and if he is a SGA member, he can avail about $8,000. So such scholarships are available, but it depends on the uh, progress of the student and his GPA and uh, his uh, uh, active role in the campus. Okay. And this scholarship test uh, for this intake we are going to conduct on 30th of August. And to, to appear for the scholarship test, student need to have unconditional acceptance letter from the university. Any other question, please? Yeah, I have a doubt. Yes, please. Yeah, uh, just say India may quiz scheme shallow or quiz scheme bando jati. Okay, just say US may apne ka ki PG ke liye hame stipend mil raha hai. Sabko mil, uh, sabko milega, correct? Ji, sir. By chance, maan lo ye char saal complete karne. I mean, four years UG complete, करते करते अगर उनका वो stipend scheme बंद हो जाती है, is there any possibility or chances या ऐसा कुछ? Sir, एक बात बताता हूँ मैं stipend India में भी मिलते हैं, stipend हर country में मिलते हैं क्योंकि जो PG होता है doctor का, वो काम करते करते सीखते हैं doctor, ठीक है? Under the guidance of the experts, they are practicing. They are treating the patient, all right? So for that, they get paid and that is called stipend. Got it. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thanks. Sir, how many hours do Sorry, ma'am. How many hours do you have to work? Eight hours. Eight hours. Yeah, yeah, right. You mean to see residency during residency? Yes, sir. During PG. Clinical rotation also. Ah, during PG, madam, uh, it depends like in which department you are working. Jo first year hota hai, wo to internship hota hai. Oh, okay. Aapka, haan, sare department mein aapko kaam karna hai. But second year se when you are, you are going there, so you have to work hard. Maybe 12 hours, maybe 8 hours, maybe 16 hours. It depends. Okay. Sir, it depends upon the college, Miss. How many hours of clinical rotation do they have? No, clinical rotation is different, madam. In clinical rotation, there are core rotations, they are a little longer. 
कुछ रोटेशन छोटे भी होते हैं कुछ रोटेशन में नाइट शिफ्ट भी होती है ठीक है और जो आपका रेसिडेंसी है दिस इज योर जॉब राइट तो ये ये जॉब में अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ कंसल्टेंट जो फिजिशियन होते हैं उनको कंसल्टेंट कहते हैं उनके गाइडेंस में आपको काम करना है सो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन लाइक से रिक्वायरमेंट हाउ हाउ मच मैन पावर इज अवेलेबल एंड हाउ मच मैन पावर इज रिक्वायर्ड समाइम मोर आवर्स यू टू वर्क समाइम लेस आवर्स यू टू वर्क ओके ओके सर वन मोर थिंग कि पीजी होने के बाद हमें लाइसेंस मिलेगा तो हम इंडिया में डायरेक्ट आके क्लिनिक ओपन कर सकते हैं या फिर हमें नेक्स्ट की ऐसी कौन सी एग्जाम देनी पड़ेगी यहाँ पे देखिए मैडम मैं आपको एक बात बोलता हूँ आपने तो सुना रहेगा कि कोई ऑपरेशन होता है बहुत कॉम्प्लिकेटेड होता है तो अमेरिका से आके डॉक्टर ऑपरेशन करता है सुना है आपने सुना है या नहीं सुना है नहीं सुना है सर अमेरिका से डॉक्टर इंडिया में आके ऑपरेशन करते है ये सुना है आपने नहीं नहीं सुना है तो ऐसा होता है अमेरिका से इंडिया में भी डॉक्टर को बुलाते हैं वो ऑपरेशन करते हैं तभी उनको नीट नहीं लिखनी पड़ती है ना नेक्स्ट लिखनी पड़ती है ठीक है सो दे आर डायरेक्टली अलाउ टू प्रैक्टिस सर प्रैक्टिस नॉट क्लिनिक ओपन कर सकते हैं क्या हाँ बिल्कुल क्लिनिक देखो प्रैक्टिस ही करना है ना आप प्राइवेट करो या गवर्नमेंट करो इसको प्रैक्टिस ही बोलती है जब आप काम कर रहे हो मेडिसिन के बारे में काम कर रहे हो तो उसको प्रैक्टिस कहते हैं और राइट ओके सर जी सर सॉरी तो दिस वीजा प्रोसेस विल स्टार्ट वंस विल ट्यूशन फी एंड अकोमोडेशन फी विल बी क्लियर राइट यस एट लीस्ट यू हैव टू पे फर्स्ट ईयर फीस ओके इंश्योरेंस ओके and you have to provide all the documentation you have to provide okay. the immigration fee okay right? yeah so is there assurance about uh, i mean to which intake is going to be start by october since you told in case of any delays either any complication while we are processing the visa for the student any anything may be happen suppose if visa rejected suppose in case is there any chances for that What there are the no complication? Of, uh, there is no chance of the rejection of the visa till date. There is uh, not a single rejection. Mm. All right. So I don't think there is any problem because we verify all the documents before going for landing permit. And once uh, Kurasa government issue the landing permit, Netherlands government gives the visa. So there is no chance of the rejection. I mean, first we need to be submit the document. Then you you will say positive. Yes, all is okay. Yes, then we yes. have to pay the fee. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks, thanks, sir. Anybody is having any question? Okay, so I think uh, Priyank, uh, you can uh, go for the vote of thanks, and you can end this session uh, with the permission of everybody. I am asking to everybody, like Dr. Binta, uh, Dr. Gopi, uh, Dr. Sri Ram. Tin mai, is there anything you want to tell, or we can end the session? So you told, is there classes, either courses might be start in India also? It is I have seen India uh, and also what are what are these? It is uh, under consideration that uh, if the students are coming late, then we may start for the six month, but it is not finalized yet. All right, so. 16th of october you can consider student will go to the grassa all right if there is any plan then definitely we'll let you know no is there definitely the if being as a parent we we want to be let the our you know child go directly to koroso but in okay. case of any delay maybe the chances yeah, of delay, sir, we, yeah, we delay, delay in sir. visa issuance either this one then window domain period is got delayed so what are the alternative that yes. time this, uh, this if we a, don't want to be here for for the study in india this is uh, under consideration sir we don't want to waste the one semester of the student that's the reason we may uh, teach student one semester here in india all right but it is not yet finalized so whenever it will be finalized i will let you know no but we we are not interested to be i'm sorry to say but to you know in house in india because we are going to be spend the money to for you know 
to reach our you know school. no see our intention is not to teach student in india we, our intention is to not waste the time of the student okay because we, we apply for the landing permit and yeah. if, if the student is not getting landing permit for three months yeah. all right and if already courses started so yeah. in that case we'll consider this okay so that way, what are the chances for, I mean, these are the uh, window period for the maximum to get the visa, you know, ready. I, uh, I told you, sir, maximum three months it will take to get landing permit and visa. So September, you're, uh, now October going to be start, right? So we, we have a, I mean, little, uh, very short time. I mean, now the August, September and October. So yeah. If sure. you start the process now, definitely uh, we can uh, get a visa before the deadline. Okay. Okay. That assurance. Yes, sir. We are trying to speed up the process for the landing permit as well. All right. Yeah. But we are doing that. Okay. All okay. Right. So. And sir, so if you have a yearly roadmap and schedule of how uh, lectures and uh, topics are going to be taught so if you can share that uh, ma'am if you go to our website uh, www.martinus.edu you will get all the data like which all modules when it start what is the start date all right everything is there okay right. so yeah. it will begin in the month of october the semester is six month period all right and between two semester there is a one month vacation all right, all right. Any is having any question, please? Okay, I invite uh, Priyank uh, mm -hmm. to end the session with a of thanks, please. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you, everyone, for your time. Uh, I'll just share a few inputs for with you all, wherein I have experienced students have traveled from our center. Uh, there are a few pointers which all of you have to know. One is that the entire process is very streamlined. You get all the information on the university website. What when we talk about accreditation, everything has been given on the university website. One can go check all those details and get the information. Rather than going and checking and asking anybody else in the market, you will get always a uh, different different answers. Second thing is that if you have any doubt wherein you want to write to the university, you all are open to write them and you will get a response. It takes around 48 hours to 72 hours to get you a response, but definitely you get a response. A concern in terms of information you have not got, if you need any further information that can be shared in a stipulated time. Uh, I would say thanks to uh, Kamlin sir for giving us the opportunity and uh, bringing our students to the flow wherein they can ask you all the questions and uh, thanks to Shriram, uh, thanks Chinmay, thanks Vinda sir, thanks Mr. Gopi, thanks Priyanka, Ram sir, and Mr. Ravi for giving us the input and insight. Uh, we would look forward for a uh, further uh, process and we'll uh, start the uh, for further process for the students who are already in a queue. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.